Well, the fact that cities are growing worldwide, uh, of course, um, gives a lot of possibilities for these cities. But there is uh, numerous things that people uh, tend to overlook, and one of them uh, is the the relationship between the rural and uh, countryside and uh, and the city. Issues of food production, of water, ecology, uh, these are should be uh, part and parcel of the whole urbanization question. The, the present recession, you can already see that it has an influence on the, on the building of sustainable cities in a quite interesting way. Um, we are used to think of uh, sustainable cities as being something top-down planned, something large-scale. Uh, and this kind of investments have uh, almost dried up in, the, in Western Europe. But there is a new uh, kind of movement coming in, uh, uh, in existence instead, which is a kind of a bottom-up sustainable uh, movement, you could say. And the best example of that is the urban agriculture, uh, being highly stimulated by, uh, by the government for numerous reasons, of course, not only uh, from ideological pr perspective or uh, because of a desire for a sustainable city, but also because it saves a lot of money. I think it's important that uh, political urban leaders define very clearly their role and their vision and that they uh, act from the public good and uh, what is the common good and therefore be a real discussion partner and a partner in the negotiations with all the other uh, market parties, developers and residents involved in urban planning nowadays. Well, uh, a winning edge is often defined uh, for a city, the, the aspect of having a, having a certain identity, of being branded as a, a certain kind of city. Uh, but an identity is something that needs to grow. It's not a, it's not a superficial thing. So uh, I don't believe in like outside branding offices often try to just put a stamp on a city and then it will flourish and, and we will all believe that it really is this kind of city. It needs time and it needs to be embedded and it needs to be rooted in truth and in reality and not in marketing.